guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you the new Block Streets Water Kung Fu Fighting Style. As you can see, there's many moves that are only available to Water Kung Fu, like this first move. This move looks like it could pack a punch. These are the second and third moves, so these are pretty good for grinding too, and you can probably use them. Aside from fruits, swords, and guns, this is a very good way to deal damage in this game. Right now, we don't know the source or the price, so Water Kung Fu is hard to obtain. I'm not going to go into deep explanation, and I'm just going to give you the easy answer, and I'm not going to make this complicated. Now I'll reveal the price for Water Kung Fu. It's 750k. Now we have to go find the teacher, so let's look for it. This is the whirlpool where you obtain it in Underwater City. Now we've arrived at Underwater City. The entrance is right at that door. Another location is Hot and Cold, wow. which is located in Second Sea. Now that we've learned Water Kung Fu, uh, one of the things that we uh, learn is the move set. So the first thing that we get after grinding zero mastery is the M1s. And the M1s are really good for combos and dealing damage and grinding. Water Kung Fu is one of the fighting styles that has a move set, which is all fighting styles. So the first move is Steam Charged Fist, which is 70 mastery. And the damage is pretty high. Here is our second move. It's called Deadly Shower, and it's 130 mastery. The mastery is pretty high, but the damage, it's really good, and it's definitely worth it. And this is our third move, the final move. Heavy Water Punch, 250 mastery. This is too much mastery, but it deals a pretty good damage. Now for the trips and tricks and pros and cons. So the M1 is buffed and it's great for farming. And it does pretty good damage. And uh, you could learn combos with this if you're good. This is not recommended in PvP because it's slow. And Sharkman Karate is obviously better. But it requires close reigns. And you also need to know when to hit and when to not hit. This is really expensive, but it's good with Buddha, so if you have a perm Buddha, it's really good. And almost damage sea beasts. Now that we've completed Dark Step, Electric, and finally we've completed Water Kung Fu right here. Soon, I'll be going to Second C. And I'll also be making a video ranking all of these fighting styles in a tier list. So when it comes out, make sure to watch it. For watching this video comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to tell a fun fact